I'm Freddie Minge of Epicenter Nursery, which I co-own with my wife, Ellen Baker. And we're here today to talk about grafting um, avocado rootstock from seedling. So first thing to know is that there's tools involved that are probably pretty necessary. Clipper, very sharp single double grafting knife, parafilm, and rubber band strips. Um, grafting avocados is pretty dependent on time of the year. Your timing is crucial. So you want it to be warmer, um, longer days, rootstocks grow in vigorously, but also the scion wood, um, the, the, actually the trees you cut your scion wood off of have to be in pretty good growth so that they're producing sticks in the right condition. I'm going to show you a a properly, you know, a, a good condition. Here's a good piece of cyan wood here. And you can see a good stick of cyan wood has prominently uh, protruding buds at the base of each leaf stem. And that's crucial because if, if your buds aren't protruding, that stick is going to sit there for too long, the graft's going to dry out and it's probably going to die. So we feel like that's maybe the most one of the most important things about grafting avocados and, and it's important to get your avocado sign wood from a tree that's in in good condition if it's a sickly tree that's dying in yellow oftentimes the, the sign wood isn't strong and it won't take either so now that i've talked about timing of the sign wood in the, in the stock i'm going to show you how we prepare it some people clip you know the, the leaf stems off we break them off we wrap everything in parafilm a lot of times when i get the tender tip, that's all right. If it's too tender, you just cut the top off. The branches, you know, sometimes they don't break off really easy. Cut it. So end up with this. And that's a properly prepared, a nice stick of cyan wood. That's, it's kind of thick, it's got good protrusion. It's really on the edge of growing into, going into a, a growth flush. So having prepared it, Next step is to wrap it with the parafilm. Parafilm waterproofs it and prevents it from drying out while it's waiting to callus and heal and, and actually take. So crucial with avocados is to stretch out your parafilm before you put it on the stick so that you can apply it very lightly. And what I do, I'm gonna show this up close. I take the upper corner and tuck that over the top so it's sealed at the top and gently wrap my way around that stick. I don't know how centered that is. I probably could do a better job, but I try to be very delicate around the, the buds. Don't want to break any buds off. Don't want to damage them. And that's good enough. Don't need to wrap it all the way to the bottom. You can be cutting that. Yeah. So we're now we're going to do the actual grafting process itself. And at Epicenter Nursery, we like to use the cleft graft. It's really simple. People use the whip graft, whip and tongue, bud graft, side graft. There's all kinds of different ways you can do it. We, we prefer this, this method and you do whatever you like, but I'm going to show you our, our, our grafting method right now. Here's, here's my graft wedge. It's pretty smooth on both sides. I'll take my stock, chop it off. This one doesn't have a nurse leaf. We like to leave one leaf at the bottom. We like to make sure that there's no active buds operative below the graft. If there are any, you just pick them out with your fingernail. And I, I like to split using both both hands and I hold my knife hand with my other hand with the stock hand so that the knife doesn't slip suddenly through. I just fairly gradually split. It's pretty safe. You're matching one side, right? Oh yeah, I'm matching <laughs> I'm match I'm slipping my wedge in the cleft and matching one side. One side only that's enough. 
and that's basically just sitting in there here. There's a, there's a, a close view of it. And it's just loosely installed, but next step for us is to is to wrap it, cinch it in there a little bit. And once you get it uh, secure, you can push it in a little farther so you get some tension. And then I can adjust it so that I can see that my the upper part of my, yeah, the upper part of my, my, my cambiums are pretty much lined up. So I like to tilt it just a little bit. So I make sure they intersect. That way I don't have to be absolutely right on the money. I wrap it all the way up, make sure it's good and sealed. Any cut surface that's not sealed, either below the wound or above, will cause the thing to that does desiccate and dry out and absolutely 100% failure rate. With the rubber band, just start down low and pin the bottom under itself, wrap it up, good tension near the top. And that's it. So that's that's pretty much the graft. So at this point you you want to make sure you you know feed your rootstock, you want to make sure anything growing below the graft, you kill off any of those buds will, any of those buds starting from below the graft will kill the graft itself. It'll suck all the vigor away from it. You want to keep this shaded from direct sunlight. Sunlight will, will burn the scion under the plastic. It'll kind of accumulate that heat and mess it up. It'll kill it for sure. Um, label the graft after you on it so that you remember what the hell you grafted onto this thing. Yeah, you know, summing it up, um, that's that's a cleft graft of avocado from a seedling rootstock. And as this as this graft grows, it'll push it'll push the buds out through the parafilm. You don't have to worry about the parafilm. You don't have to pick it off or do anything to it. It should slough off if you if it gets damaged at some point, recode it. Um, support the growth of the new shoot with a stake, with a stick. Don't put the stake through the root system, put it off to the side and tape it gently so that that tender calloused graft union doesn't snap off in the first windstorm. We've had that happen to us numerous times. And then push your tree, you know, water it and fertilize it generously and you should be off to grafting avocados like a pro.